was a good place. It perhaps wasn't as big as other theme parks. I think that was one of its downfalls. It could have been bigger. You know, we ended up going on quite a few rides quite a few times. My most memorable day here has got to be opening day of Nightmare. And I think that was one of the biggest days for Camelot. In the following five years after that, there was no further investment in, in new rides, so there was no other day when you know, you'd have such excitement. The Nightmare had plenty of very tight curves and prolonged heavy G-forces. And that's when you really feel on a, on a roller coaster. Now, there's not many roller coasters in the world that pull 5G, so to have one here was, was really something special. The day we came, the heat of the sun was causing the metal to expand and creak. A noise you wouldn't even notice whilst a theme park was open. It was quite eerie. The silence at times was quite deafening. You should be hearing screams of laughter and crowds of people having a fun day out and all the happiness. And of course now it's just the occasional insect noise. And it's really, they are really creepy places abandoned in these wind parks. on school trips. I don't I couldn't tell you why. I'm sure it was a, a maths trip. 90% of the uh, the premises now has been heavily vandalized. Particularly near the main entrance there's been uh, arson attempts and a lot of graffiti, smashed glass. It is in a sad state of affairs now. like old-fashioned music as well as you go around, you know, yeah. like medieval music. Yeah. Even driving past, you could hear the carts, like the tracks and stuff. They went for the world record for the world's loudest scream, and so they had a series of competitors and they hooked them up to a decibelometer. Uh, but no, sadly, they didn't manage to break the world record. 